All right, guys, Germany 44 here, and welcome back to the channel. So, last time we were able to finish our build in seven minutes, 44 seconds. We did well. Yeah, so last time we were able to finish this build, which was able to predict, was it predict or give the precise week day given the date? Today's video, I'm going to try something a bit different. I'm just going to create um, more like a game. I'm going to call it a guessing game, but it's not going to be your typical guessing game. So, can, let me create a new file then we talk about how it will be and this time around i've increased the font size so that everyone will be able to see that thing last time a lot of people complained about my font size so i'm sorry about that my apologies all right so we're going to create a new file yes in game hmm, can we spell game dot py all right, so the rules will be simple. Like, it won't be your typical guessing game where there would be a number and you have to guess. What I'm going to do is to actually um, see how lucky we are. So the question is, how lucky are you? I'm going to give two choices, A and choice B. So you are supposed to choose A and B over and over and over again. As you continue to choose the correct choice, there will be a score which will be keeping track of, you know, how will you perform or how lucky you are something of the sort so yeah my timer is here obviously seven minutes 44 seconds as you can see on the screen and we'll start the timer and we are going to do something like that so let's start first um we need to use the random i'm going to make it a random choice so we'll be using the random so i'm going to import random right and then i have to take the choice from the user choice would be equal to input and I'm going to ask the user a or b is that simple right and okay so i'm going to have my choices to be equal to a list of all the possible inputs so small a small b or all the possible choices something of the sort so after after I'm having this list over here, I'm going to use a random to make a random choice between A and B. And I think I'm actually going to put this in a while in a while loop so that it will keep doing right. So I'm going to set the initial wrong to false. Just a variable, right? And then I'm going to have a while loop over here. All not wrong. All not wrong. I'm going to have something like this. So all not wrong. I'll ask the user for the choice, right? And okay. So I need to make a choice before I even enter. <laughs> This is kind of not easy. All right, so I'm going to create choice. Yeah, create choice should be equal to random the choice of that sequence, which is my choice. Something like that. And my variable names are somewhere here. I'm kind of nervous because the time is going five minutes more. And yeah, after doing this, If I right, so yeah, if choice dot lower is equal to correct choice, choice dot lower is equal to correct choice. Maybe I should keep a score. So there's a score by here which is initially zero. Then I'll read score last equals maybe a certain counter so i'll set an initial counter to zero and then i'll do counter plus equals one and yeah i have something like this else wrong equals 
true so the only way that wrong will be equal to true is if the person gets the answer wrong and you know for this for this build let's just start let's run this particular one and see what will happen i'm going to pause the time you have to wait for this to happen this is definitely not part of what i'm doing all right so now that it has run i'm going to start the time again so it says a or b i'm going to input a okay so i need to be displaying the score right so and maybe after it is wrong then i'll display the score so something like print score and i'll maybe i'll use an s string then i'll make this place equal to score yeah let's score. i don't know why these things are aligned uh, Okay, make sense. Um, it's just that you see, Python has that kind of uh, con convention that they go according to if you are working with constants like this, such as these things that do not change you, you use capital letters to write the variable names, something just, just there, nothing fancy. So, don't worry about it, uh, it would have worked without me changing it anyway. So I'm going to run the code again. Um, yeah, I'm going to run the code again. And I'm going to choose A. A again, A again, A again. So I had six as my score, right? Well, I don't know if the score thing is actually correct, but I'm guessing this should be right because as you can see, <laughs> I'm doing something obviously. So maybe I should print here that you're right. Great. Then I could probably print the current score. And I'll put it in Kelly Braces score. <laughs> Can you type? Well, I'm just feeling somehow. I'm feeling some sort of tension because of all this um, <laughs> the timer thing. I think I can survive so. So I'm going to bring my terminal up, run it again and see. And see what's up. So I'm going to choose an A. Oops. <laughs> Just wrong like that. So I'm going to choose an A again. <laughs> A. Oh, I'm just not lucky. Okay, B works. So after the B, I'm supposed to update the score before I print. So I think this should come before that, right? So I'm supposed to update the score before I print the score. That makes sense, obviously. So B. I have, to, I have to skip the A. So A, A again, and A strong. So well, the whole idea is there, but I think I wasn't able to finish it in time. So that I know. But anyway, I'm going to stop. Or I'm just going to forget about the time, and I'm going to finish this. I have to finish it so that it will be sensible. So. Before I do this, I think I should print that wrong. Yeah. So I'll print wrong choice. And I'll be like, your score is this. Huh. Alright, so. Now let's think through again. So I have my list of choices over here, and then I have some variables to help control the flow of the game. So while it's not wrong, wrong is initially false. While not wrong, counter plus equals one, right? So I start from the first count. So I have a correct choice which I make by you know doing this. What's I have over here? And then choice is equal to this and 
I'll do this, right? So choice dot lower and all of this. Or uh, I think before I even check for this, before I even check for this, I can decide to check if the person's choice is even in that. So if choice dot lower in my choices if I even do all of this else I should print to the user invalid yeah invalid choice try again something like that that makes sense or oh, more like invalid inputs try again just to handle some error right and also i think if that's the case then we should bring this particular one you should send a copy outside the for loop right now after sending a copy outside the for loop this should not be here but rather be um inside this if all statement right so Only when a person gets his query that I, you know, make another random choice again for the next one. Doesn't really matter. It just to control the flow of the game. So I think, so this is the game. This is the game. This is my idea of the game. So give A. A is obviously the wrong choice. I'm trying again. I go with A. Go with A again. All right. So I try again. Go with B. So basically, this this, this is not your typical uh, how do I say it? This, this is not your typical guessing game. This one is more much more difficult than your typical guessing game, where there is just a number between a certain range, and you just select something, one of the numbers, and if you get it right, there are so you have maybe three chances. I'm not going to do that. You have one chance to choose between A and B. If your choice is correct, you get a score. So it's all about you being lucky. How lucky you can be for maybe for a certain number of questions, something like that. So this is actually supposed to be fun. It's nothing very serious. It's just supposed to help test how to use your if else statement while loops and all of that. Nothing very very serious, right? I actually did this um, some time ago. So I'll leave a link in the description below. I'll leave a link in the description to my GitHub repository, which has this particular um, question, or it has a code for this particular game. I did it uh, a while ago. I actually just wanted to do this one spot because, you know, 744 bills. So today's 744 bills, I actually failed. But I think you guys get the idea of what I was trying to build. So you can go and continue with this and add your own, you know, touches to it so that the game will be fun. Nothing very serious. You can even decide to use a GUI, something like PyQt5 or TKint or however you want to call it. So yes, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. I'm glad that you did enjoy the video. I know you enjoyed the video anyway, so that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next one.